Okay, I try to do videos on stuff that I cannot find on YouTube. Um, this is a Ford 2000 tractor. Got the pump right here. Um, number one, you cannot get this pump brand new. You can only get it rebuilt. This particular tractor here has the control valve on it. They are right on YouTube. There is a safety bypass valve underneath here. But you have to take this control valve off. Everything's O-rings, flat O-rings. So I reused the old ones and it's not leaking so far. Um, the original complaint on this tractor when it first came in was the hydraulic leak at the pump. The first pump that we got which is this control head on this or this head on this pump see how I got that JIC flat face o-ring on there and this hose which goes back to here right there that's not original that's all homemade I had to take that fitting there and this hose and make it all I had to take this step off brakes and all this, full mess, all that stuff to get it off. I also rebuilt the uh, lift cylinder in the back because I had to take this off because there are two filters inside of this tractor. The bigger tractors have the hydraulic pumps right here with spin-on filter. You can get them new, but you can't get this one anymore. Show you this fitting see how I did it now most of the fittings are going to come with the big uh, steel line fitting I couldn't find a fitting that would make that work so hopefully this will help somebody out who's got one of these old tractors where you can't get parts new for anymore um, the line the fitting is supposed to work for that steel line is this part right here Focus you son of a bug. Right here is that part number for the steel fittings if you want to try to use it. It's a compression fitting. It looks like that. It doesn't work for the crap. I couldn't get it to work. It just kept on leaking. Um, so maybe that'll help somebody out. Thanks.